someday I don't know what to say. I'll find a way to bring her back from the dead. There is no way how. How's it going, everybody? Um, I just thought about something. I'm just taking a look back from the, the way how she looked in that crossover episode, and I, and I know ever since um, after a dismissive failure with the previous Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film project um, that I did, that regarded... I just, I just thought about it. just totally forgot about it. I know this is not right. Doing... I just... I, it just don't feel right when I... It just doesn't feel right without Trahina on board the project. Because I know it isn't. Because that mouth plate is not going to make her any sexier. I mean, seeing her with that mouth plate makes her look like uh, one of those female Mortal Kombat uh, characters with the mouth with the mouth plate on. <whistles> Cleavage. I tried the best I could to make the perfect puppet of one of my favorite female villains of Power Rangers ever. I just can never make her right. Every time I make puppets like these, it's either the legs that are loose, well most of the time, or the torso that's all bent over. And one secret. I sleep with a, I sleep with this puppet at, at at night, in bed, because I have to admit, I am obsessed with Trakina. I I really am. It's just there is no way in the world I can bring her back for a movie. I tried everything within my own power, creative power, to bring her back for a fan film. I had an actress to play it, but she dumped me on that because she felt that playing a character with bug eyes was not going to be attractive. I'm, I'm, I'm totally speechless here. And no, the, fa the facial likeness on the puppet does not contain Amy Miller's face whatsoever. Or Jennifer Burns' uh, eye shots. Forehead shots. Somebody else. Somebody that, you know, that's completely overrated as much as, as overrated, as, completely underrated as, underrated as the character herself. And I've been thinking, as soon as as soon as I um, finish the Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film for next year, I have plans on reintroducing Trakina like this because this is what she looked like in Lightspeed Rescue for the crossover. But I know I everybody hated the crossover between the Galaxy and Lightspeed Rangers. It was because that goes to show that not much people like Trakina because she's underrated. 
course she was a, she's a tragic vil she was a tragic villain had issues and stuff but someday after when I'm done with the 2014 fan film she will rise again This time I'm going to make her even more violent and powerful than what she was on the show. But I, what I need to do is to find someone who can play her. I mean, even though female villains based on insects is not a good idea, it was not really that interesting, but it's worth a shot. It's worth the shot. Still that freshman bitch is gonna pay for what she did to me just because I was not doing my schoolwork. Let's just do focus on this. I have to admit. I do have an obsession. I just don't feel right. Before I turn my camera on this morning, I, uh, I was, I was crying inside. My heart was crying inside, thinking back what happened. When I did a Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan, fan, fan film, with Trakina as the main villain in it. And when I had someone that you got, none of you people know about, who was, you know, part of my former school. And I just, I just, I, I was also, like, I also have to admit that I was also obsessed with her too. But it's just, ever since when she quit my fan film, and went back doing her duty at being the main assistant principal. The assistant principal at my former high school. And every time I see her, she said I was stalking her. But I, I just, I, I couldn't believe it. Because I, I told you guys that story, a lot. A lot. And every time I every time I think about her and my conflict with her, I think about this. You guys should feel sorry for me what, what about the struggles I've had trying to bring Trakina back for a Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film because there isn't any I told I'm going to say this I'm going to say this again like I said before for many times there isn't anyone in my era area that is a fan of Power Rangers I'm talking about a female I'm talking about a female who's a who is or not a fan of Power Rangers that would like to do this character for a film but but I wanted to do her completely different from Amy Miller's 
this version of the character or any other incarnation, but there's only three different incarnations. Amy Miller on Lost Gale, see Jennifer Burns for the crossover in Lightspeed Rescue, and Kim, I guess, who voiced her in the video game, the Super Legends video game. I guess this goes to show she is underrated, but yet she is considered one of the greatest female villains Power Rangers has ever had, according to most fans, but... But you people won't believe what um, her rating percentage is on fan pop. Only 1% of people voted Trikina as their favorite female villain, but guess what other vi latter villain that has the higher rating as favorite female villain from Power Rangers? Astronema, 29% tied with Rita Repulsa. I guess she is pathetic. I guess Trikina is pathetic. And it wasn't really all that. I mean... Of course, everybody has their own biased opinion of people and things. Now, um, I was thinking about reintroducing her. Like I said, I was thinking about reintroducing her like this for another movie. If I can find someone that can play her. I just kept sitting here every day with these puppets and stuff. Every day. But no luck. Now, the actress like the the actor like likeness. Well, I know it's not Amy Miller, because she's retired from acting. But if someone would be interested in playing her, <whistles> last few times I did her voice, I didn't do it so well. I don't do female voices. I, I've been saying that a, a whole bunch of times. Seems like every time when I use Jerry Hall's face on this puppet, and every time when it comes to the lipstick scheme, it always gets messed up. Every time. And it never looks right. That's why I have one of my rare... Um, head plates that I printed out and cut out to see if it'll fit, see if it'll work better because once when I do Power Rangers Lost Galaxy 2 in another few years um, if the first fan film will be a success I have plans on reintroducing Trakina to be well less dark but you you fans of, the, of this character won't like it because if I redo her to be a little nicer instead of being evil all the time of course, Amy Miller's character was very bad to the bone, pretty much more like the bad bitch of, well, you know, I, I don't know what to say about that, but. I know Sherry Hall is an old woman, but I, I had some other actresses that I thought would be my inspiration for the character. I mean, I tried Jenny McCarthy uh, um, the other day because, well, Jenny McCarthy is a former or current Playboy model. Sorry. But I don't think she would work. I mean, does she even have the facial physique to play her? But, and then 
one of the Red Galaxy Ranger interns' his blogs mentioned something about having Shelly Martinez, the former WWE diva, former TNA knockout, to be, be her. If that will work, but I was like, no. But I had no choice but to get Jerry Hall because she's a legend. Because Jerry is a legend. A modeling beauty icon. And even though she was Mick Jaggers' ex-wife, even though they they were married for 22 years and been, had a long relationship. Now, once when I show a girl or a woman who are not... Well, because, you know, the last time I showed a puppet of Trachina like this with this kind of makeup, and especially what's more exposing is obviously still, again, the cleavage. <clears throat> what turned Frischman off was this. Well, of course, I was in school. I was in school at the time when I made these puppets. I had to do... I, I had to make like so many puppets of Trakina, it wasn't funny. I mean, every puppet I make with this kind of material, which is mount board, and every time when I put the paper fasteners and stuff together and try to move the arms and legs and stuff, tr she, she, the puppet just comes out all bent up and flat out and stuff. And every time when I do the lipstick effect scheme, I try to make it perfect, but most of the time, but yeah, but every time, but every time when I add on so much black to her lips or red or even one of the, even glue or even, um, glitter glue pens like these, her lips is always getting messed up. I mean the well mostly red because red when you put when you when I apply when I apply the red glitter to her lips it gets a little messy it get messes up the you know the under the under under and upper parts of her lips and also some of the red can get straight into her teeth and like as if she, her her mouth was bleeding because you know red can be you know using red is very messy when I when I when I used it when I use this every time when I do it. But if you can look back in my original um, cutout of her, of her head that you've seen in one of her Morphin Girl case, stu case studies last year, of course, this is the one year anniversary of my Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film channel on YouTube. So this is my one year anniversary since the channel opened. Um, so looking back at some of the stuff I did last year for the reboot, well, for the puppets before I started shooting. Because, well, of course, back in February, if you rec if you recall, I said I was not going to have Trakina in my Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film just yet. I just don't want her right now because there isn't, again, no one that wants to play her, wants to play her. So I was like, okay, I don't need her. I'll just find some new female villain like Metal Alice from Power Rangers Megaforce slash Ghost Ager. Now, even though I got two different, even though I got the same head plate of Jerry Hall, but two different makeup schemes. Now, suppose if Trakina didn't look all gothic and dark and stuff, I would have her exactly look plain with less makeup, but just only the lipstick and not all that mascara and stuff like on this head, this face plate. Because as soon as I show a girl these, one of these, or a woman these puppets, you know they're going to say that she's, she looks way too scary with this, with this, well, mainly in terms of costume and makeup because Trakina is supposed to be a dark character. But it's the, it's the, the, the insensitive type of women that don't like characters like this because they just don't like characters like this. Of course, I, I, I had to, um, in order to repair her legs, I had to use gray tape and also use my black Sharpie marker to blacken out the gray of the, the legs. The legs. 
Even though I did the headdress months ago, but the antenna is a little wobbly and messed up because I had to put so much gray tape and blacken the gray parts. So I'm going to need to get something, something bendable to keep the antenna s stable. What am I going to do without you? Even though puppets like these don't talk, but if they did talk and if if I made them as real people, then that would that would have been that would have been a different story. But non-living stuff like this that you create don't come to life. This isn't a fairy tale. This is reality. And even though in the past I know people have talked to talked to garbage about my paper puppet creations of these Power Ranger characters but featuring facial likenesses of widely known and small known and deeply underrated celebrities as these characters mainly most of the majority of my puppets for the faces are mainly celebrities that are completely small known and half that are well known because Mainly, I'm always mostly going for small known celebrities that don't act anymore, or they, or they just taking a small break from acting, or or they, or they're just definitely underappreciated for their talent. And because the, despite how people be toward these kind of celebrities, like Jerry Hall, of course, well, she's in um, the European region in London and places, you know, somewhere in London, Australia. So it's just. Yeah, well, I was going for an underrated but yet iconic celebrity like Jerry because even though I, 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 know, I know something about her, but all I know about her was her relationship with Mick Jagger and Brian Ferry. I, I looked it up via Wikipedia and other sources. Now, since I have Jerry... This is a uh, facial likeness. Who do you think? Um, I was thinking about uh, looking for a female with a Texan accent because Jerry Hall is from Texas, and she has a Texan accent, but mixed with the British uh, with the British accent, but you know, mixing her British accent with a Southern drawl. Um, you know, that's kind of bizarre. Mixing British your mixing British ac a British accent with Texan drawl. That's kind of bizarre for me. Even when I've seen Jerry Hall, and you know, in some videos that I've seen, especially um, interview videos and stuff mixing her t southern Texan drawl with um, British with the British accent that's pretty cool though a little but unethical for me as soon as I'm done working on this movie I have plans on finding someone who can do a female a female villain with uh you know th that sounds like you know because of course well I couldn't have go gone with Jenny McCarthy because she looks like Trakina but I don't think I want her but because of course people will come up to me and say on this video watching this video looking at this and saying that why the hell do I got an old lady to play a younger villain knowing that Trakina is not that old she's young she was younger when she was on the show, so why did I get an older woman to play her? Because you know why. If, if I wanted her to be older, I wanted her to be older. Since there isn't any, any young female Power Ranger fans that I know, because I don't know anyone outside from the internet life, because I'm always in the house 24-7, like, like I've been saying before every video and
just, I'm always, it's just, I'm socially isolated. That's why I have no one that, that can reach out for me. Outside of my family. So, that's why I have to be alone. Well, of course, I have, well, for a person who, who has autism like me, you know, autistic people have to be, so autistic people can be or cannot, can, can be or somewhat to be socially isolated from society because, but though as I, as I, once when I get older, really, really older, I'm really going to have problems reaching out for people because... People wouldn't even, people will act like I, I don't even exist. But it's like as soon as I ha um, do a phone call for, of someone that I haven't even saw, seen in like a long time, and then when I, when, they, when I ask them can they come over, they'll be like, yeah, but sooner or later they'll act like they don't know where I'm at and stuff. So, it's just, I'm really, really desperate for someone that can play her in this film. Really desperate. So. next time folks <laughs>